Hello and welcome back to episode 8 of Real Madrid FM23 Beta Save. We're back today for the penultimate episode, we hope, of the FM23 Beta. With a game where we should win the La Liga. And then hopefully we progress to the Champions League final. Just before we get into the episode, if you are enjoying the content on the channel and you're looking forward to FM23, the full game and my main series, please do leave a like down below. Comment what you think we will win this season. We've got the Copa del Rey in the bag. We've basically got La Liga in the bag. Do you think we can win the Champions League as well? Subscribe if you are enjoying the content. My main series, if you missed it yesterday, is going to be Vanarama National League North or South and taking them all the way to the Champions League. However, I'm going to let Football Manager pick the team for me. Now to concentrate on the episode at hand. Since you were last with us, when we edged past Inter Milan in the quarterfinal of the Champions League, we drew 0-0 with Espanyol. However, since then, we've won all four games. We beat Athletic Bilbao 2-1. We absolutely destroyed Girona 7-1. We then beat Villarreal 3-1. And in the first leg against Leipzig, we picked up a 2-1 win. I just very quickly want to draw your attention to the goal that Vinicius Jr. scored against Girona because it's absolutely ridiculous. Chest it down on the volley. What a goal. The game today against Almeria is our first chance to clinch the title. We've got Courtois and goal, a back four of Odriozola, Militao, Hernandez and Mendy, Tuchemani as the holding midfielder with Milinkovic Savic and Valverde in front of him, then Hazard on the right, Vinicius on the left and Rodrigo up front. The first highlight here is an Almeria goal kick. Let me know down below, do you think we're going to win the La Liga at the first chance of asking? Hopefully, that will be the case. Of course, if we draw or lose today and Barcelona don't win in their game, I believe tomorrow in game, uh, then th we are champions anyway. But obviously, we'd rather do it on the pitch. So hopefully that will be the case. However, Vinicius Jr. got the ball back and then instantly gave it. Oh my goodness. Torres just put Almeria 1-0 up. He might have been offside. It didn't look very offside. And when we go to VAR, it was not offside. Straight from kickoff now, we've got Militao on the ball. Plays it to Milinkovic Savic. Then a long ball out to Vinicius Jr. who finds it down in space. He's hit the outside of the post and sent it wide. What a response to the goal that would have been. We've got another highlight here starting with Almeria on the ball. They play a ball out to the left-hand side for Ram Ramazzini. Ramazzini. Samu's on the ball now, forced backwards to Babic, and then they're able to bring it forward again. They're, to be fair, controlling possession quite well. Annoyingly well, it could be said. I mean, that's that's about four miles offside. Don't show the replay. There's no point. Funnily enough, I was actually talking to future Andrew to say there was no point, but the game also decided there was no point in showing that highlight. Because it was so far offside, it didn't warrant it. First half, we were kind of being caught out and being dominated so far. So we're going to try and sort that out in the second half. And we'll bring Modric on for Tuchemani to try and help do so. Vinicius Jr. has nicked the ball early on in the second half. Tries to play a ball over the top to Milinkovic Savic. Across the box, Rodrigo. What a save from the keeper. Mendy collects it. Sends it back in. It's head of the way again. That was a fantastic save from... Pakiko in goal. However, a long ball forward only finds Militao for Almeria and we are back on the ball. Hernandez plays it out to Valverde. Tries to go over the top, but Rodrigo wasn't reading it. Receives it from Vinicius Jr. Milinkovic Savic gets us back on level terms and one more goal will win us the title as long as we obviously don't concede in that time. 40 minutes to go in the game. 35 minutes to go, sorry. And plenty of time for us to find a title-winning goal. I think with the low block, which I'd left on by accident, it was probably allowing them a bit too much time on the ball. I'm hoping now we'll see the Real Madrid that we saw early on in the season. No highlights for the last 20 minutes now. Carvajal's going to come on for Adriazola. 
Cal is going to come on for Mendy. I'm looking at who we can bring on offensively. It's going to have to be Benzema coming on for Rodrigo, which I'd rather not do, given that we've got Leipzig soon. But you've got to do what you've got to do when you want the title. We have a highlight. However, it starts with Almeria on the ball. A long ball forward is won by Hernandez, but only headed away as far as Mbappe. And Vinicius Jr. does win the ball. Cal receives it from Modric. They exchange the ball. Valverde just about lets them off with it, though. Militao brings the ball out of defence. No, he doesn't. We play it back into defence. Valverde out to the right-hand side for Calvajal. He's got space to attack their fullback. Gets a ball across the box. Vinicius Jr. 2-1. And that should be the title. As long as we get through this last 15 minutes without conceding, we're about to win La Liga. What a ball across the box. Vinicius Jr. absolutely pounds it into the corner. And there we go. La Liga is ours. Step two of three is down. We'll watch us lift the trophy because we fully deserve it. If anything, we've kind of let ourselves down a little bit because we could have won this much earlier than we have. However, yeah, we lost 4-1 to Real Betis. I still don't understand how that happened. But it's irrelevant because we've won the title. Who's going to do the cartwheel? Is it number 17? Somebody's got to do one. There he is, number 17. I don't know who you are, but he's done a cartwheel. You love to see it. And there we are. Real Madrid, La Liga champions. It was Lucas Hernandez doing a cartwheel. Even better, it was one of our new signings. There we go, we've got the double. Can we go and make that final step to the Champions League final now? Well, as it turns out, we would have been champions anyway because Barcelona only managed to draw against Cadiz the following day. But our eyes have already moved on. In goal, Courtois. The back four is going to be Calvajal, Militao and Rudiger, along with Eric Cal as the left back. Modric is the whole midfield with Valverde and Milinkovic Savic in front. Rodrigo on the right, Vinicius on the left, and Benzema up front. Long ball forward towards Vinicius Jr. It's headed away, and then Benzema manages to get a foot in to nick it. Valverde switches play towards Rodrigo, who's in space behind. What a save from the Leipzig keeper. Early chance. For Real Madrid though. Free kick from the right hand side for Leipzig. Realm's going to send it in. And to the near post. He's got space. Oh dear. Leipzig have a goal. And they are back on level terms in the tie. Don't panic. This happened against Inter Milan. This happened against Dortmund. We always come stronger, especially when our second leg is at home. Modric with the corner, sends it to the far post. Militao! I said we come out stronger. And we respond very quickly, I think, to the goal. Seven minutes, and we are back in the lead. Another corner, another goal. Valverde on the ball on the left-hand side. He runs it back towards the middle, gets a shot off. Good save from the keeper. It wasn't enough. He saved it, knocked it down to Rodrigo, somehow saved the second one. Benzema had it literally on the line to just push into the goal. Was Benzema onside? However, he was. 2-1 on the night, 4-2 on aggregate, and surely Real Madrid are heading. I mean, why is there a call? Why are we checking for offside? Clearly onside. It's 4-2. We should be heading to a Champions League final. Half time. It's been dominant so far. Let's just keep it up. Corner for Leipzig. Realm's going to send it in. They've proven they're dangerous from set pieces. However, this time Benzema heads it away. Time to make changes. Vinicius is going to come off for Eden Hazard. And we'll also bring Tony Cruz on for Luka Modric in midfield. Cruz with a corner to the far post. We love the far post. Rudiger heads home for 3-1 on the night. 5-2 on aggregate. I say we love the far post. We love corners. We love set pieces. You'll be seeing about that 
over the weekend. Another goal. 5-2 on aggregate, 3-1 on the day. Simply dominant from Real Madrid as we head to the Champions League final where we will play one of Real Madrid or Manchester City. Their game is tomorrow, so I will pop back in just a moment and let you know. And I believe Manchester City are 2-0 up in the tie. As I believed, Manchester City 2-0 up against Liverpool. Let me know. Leave a comment right now. What's the score going to be in this tie? It's Oh my goodness, it's 3-0 to Liverpool. What a turnaround in the semi-final of the Champions League. Which means it is a replay of the 2018 Champions League final and the 2022 Champions League final. On both of those occasions, Real Madrid have come out on top. On this channel, Monday night, it's three times in a row that Liverpool fall to Real Madrid. They will not beat us. As a Manchester United fan, I'm obligated to make sure of that. If you have enjoyed that, please do leave a like down below. Leave a prediction for the Champions League final. Let me know who you think we're going to get in the FM23 Pick a Random Vanarama National League North-South team. Subscribe if you're enjoying the content. And thank you very much for watching.